Hi everyone, this is Michael from the Central Kansas Library System. Welcome to another 5-Minute Friday, where I tell, show you a library technology hint, tip, or trick in 5 minutes or less. Let's get started. Today we're going to talk about reports in Pathfinder and Koha. Reports are a great way for you to gather information on your collection, your patrons, your circulation numbers, and many other things. You will often use this information for reports to your board, for annual reports for the state and for CKLS, and for your own records. Now when you first log in, you'll see that there is a reports button right here. But before we go there, let's scroll down a little bit, and you will notice there are some links at the bottom of the page, and these are labeled for annual report. These are all links that go directly to Koha reports, and you can click those and run them, and those are numbers you will need for your state report. But let's go back up here and assume we're going to do a regular report and click on reports. The good news is you can ignore most of this text here and let's just click on use saved. And this will give us a list of all the reports that are currently available. You can see it shows there are 352, but don't panic. Again, most of this information you don't need to pay attention to. What you want to look for most is report name in this column right here, and sometimes notes right here. So you'll want to look for a report that has a name for what you want to do. So normally the report name will tell you all the information you need to know about the report, but sometimes there's going to be a few extra details in the notes field. Now you can search for a report by keyword by typing it in here. Let's say we want to look for a report about emails, and we can find those reports here. And if you're looking for several reports under a specific topic, those are divided up by the tabs here at the top of the page, and you can click on those to view those reports. Let's say we want to run a circulation report. Let's go to the circulation tab and choose one of them. Let's just do the first one. Once you've found a report you want to run, go over to the right and click on the Run button. And most reports will have several fields that they ask you to fill out before running the report. This one is going to ask you for dates, so you will get the circulation statistics for these two date between these two dates. And then, let's just go for a couple weeks here, and make sure you select your library, and then run the report. Now keep in mind, some reports do take some time to run, so if it seems like it freezes for several seconds, don't be alarmed. And you can see the results here after the report is run. It tells us the total number, 26. By default, it only shows 20 rows per page, but we can change that by clicking on the drop-down box, or we can go to a new page by clicking right here. So let's take a look at the results. Here it's showing us the shelving locations, and it's telling us the type of circulation that happened. So if something was checked out, that's called issue. And then if something was renewed, that's separate. And that's clocked here. And it shows you the count. And then the blank underneath each one is the total of both the issues and the renews. Now, unfortunately, you cannot modify or sort the data from this report screen. But what we can do is go up here to download and edit it in a outside program. Most of the time you're going to want to use the comma separated text. That's what's used by Excel and many other spreadsheet programs. And let's click on that and you will download your file. And once the file has downloaded, let's go take a look at it and you can open it right there. And once it's open in the spreadsheet, you can do any kind of manipulation such as sorting the data or deleting columns or searching or anything like that. So those are the really simple basics for how to run a report. If you have any questions about reports or you're looking for one in particular, please contact me at CKLS and let me know. And if you're wondering, is there a report for this? The answer is probably yes. And if not, then I can certainly look at trying to create one for you. So again, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you next time.